Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce you a power supply that I made from a computer power supply. Uh, you might probably wondering what will be difference between my power supply and other power supply which are on many built under like on YouTube and everywhere on internet. So the difference between these power supply that others made uh, and my power supply is that my power supply is a smart power supply. Uh, so power supply is controlled by a microcontroller. So uh, it makes uh, this power supply a, a smart power supply. So let's see how uh, we make this uh, power supply. the features of this power supply power supply uses a microcontroller uh, it has a uh, dual uh, output power so you can have two output uh, different output on each side it gives you fixed voltages as 3 volt 5 volt and 12 and it gives you a variable voltage from 1 to 12 volt it has a safety feature as it holds the power while you changing the power so um, uh, your application will not be destroyed with high voltage uh, so you can hold the power and once the power is on hold you can change between powers and then you can release the power uh, it has a voltmeter uh, two voltmeters which is used for each uh, output uh, it has a current meter multiple functions are managed by one button so this is another feature of this power supply so now here you will see uh, uh, how these uh, buttons and uh, these components function. So the, the this button, uh, which is yellow button, is SW0, is the one of the button that turns on the power supply and turns off the power supply. And in the same time, uh, uh, it can hold the power supply um, output uh, until uh, you release it uh, by this uh, button uh, same uh, the, it controls for voltage output for both power supply uh, left and right on the right hand it's responsible of uh, changing voltage uh, on the on this power supply which is on right hand so by clicking it will change uh, 3 volt 5 volt 12 volt and uh, uh, variable uh, voltage uh, and uh, same for the left hand side uh, this button is responsible to change the output voltage uh, from 3 5 12 and variable uh, voltage so this uh, potentiometer uh, used to uh, control the voltage from 1 to 12 volt this is connected to step down and step up converter uh, um, which are on the diagram you saw there was two so those two uh, one is connected to this side one is connected to this side so it is a variable uh, voltage controller and uh, this is the uh, right hand power supply output um, and the other side is the left hand uh, power supply output and this is the USB which is always connected to 5 volt uh, but and this one uh, these are three LEDs uh, the middle one shows the power supply is on and off the left hand side uh, shows the power supply is the output uh, is released for right hand uh, output if this LED is off so there will be no output if this LED is on there will be output same for the left hand uh, if this LED is on this output will be on if this LED is off this output will be off to release in, uh, to release the power and hold the power we use this uh, button we if you click once uh, the right hand uh, or the left hand will be hold if you click double the right hand or left hand will be released so it's set to one of them and yeah these are LED indication indication and these are the multimeters the multimeters uh, show you uh, the voltage and the current on the on this power supply so this is the functions uh, of this power supply 
Okay, so this is mm, our fad. We place a 12 volt. <laughs> this is our power supply. So the power, uh, uh, this is the sketch uh, diagram of our power supply. Uh, we have a uh, 5 volt, uh, which is in purple color. We have a green wire. Uh, ground uh, is referred to the negative connection of the power supply. So this might be wrong as uh, in many circuit boards, ground referred to the ground connection. Oh, but here we say the negative connection to power supply. Uh, 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3 volt are negative 12 volt. These are the uh, voltage we have. So uh, we have a uh, three relay modules, number one, number two, and number three. All these um, relay modules, uh, each of them has a four channel. This is a four channel uh, relay module, uh, which relay first relay, first channel, second relay, second channel, third channel and fourth channel and each channel has an LED here so this these LED will be on if one of these channels are on so these are the channel connection and each uh, relay will be connected to 5 volt and ground and ground is again is a negative connection of the power supply and the other side each relay has a 3 pin 3 output uh, or 3 pin so the middle pin is the main pin is a normally closed with the bottom pin and it's normally open with the top pin when when the relay module is on it will be top and middle will be closed and middle and bottom will be open so this this is the way it works and we have a second relay module and third same the second relay module uh, pin also are here and same for the third so we connect the third one to the purple color and uh, we just connect the two other parts uh, relay module the first and second to the 5 volt of the power supply. So the difference between 5 volt uh, of the power supply and the purple color is that once the, if the power supply is off, but it's connected to the mains 220, 240 volt, this purple color will be always 5 volt, but the other voltages will be off. So once we connect the uh, green wire to negative connection of the power supply, these uh, other voltage will be become on so they are off at the moment if you connect the green wire to ground or negative connection these will be on so uh, th uh, these red uh, are 5 volt which is this 5 volt and uh, we have ordinary module so this ordinary module is uh, connected same to the purple 5 volt and negative connection of the power supply we have three buttons these three buttons, uh, one of the buttons is W0. It's used to power on and off the power supply. And in the same time, we have two output on our power supply. These two output uh, will be hold, the power will be hold by this uh, button. Um, and these two buttons are used for each uh, power supply output to switch between powers like 12 volt, 5 volt, 3 volt, and uh, um, variable power supply. Uh, we have two USB output. One of the USB output is always connected to 5 volt, um, and one is connected to 5 volt once the power supply output is set to 5 volt. And if it's not set to 5 volt, uh, this will be deactivated. So this will, uh, our relay module name, names are RLM number one, it means relay module number one, relay module number two, and relay module number three. And each relay, as you say, relay one, relay two, relay three, and relay four. Same as channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. So we have two um, uh, step down, step up converters. These are used to step down the voltage from, uh, and step up the voltage from one to 12 volt. And in the same time, we have potentiometer here. So this potentiometer will be replaced with this potentiometer. We connect the relay 2 or channel 2 of the module 3 to the ground, the middle pin to ground, and the top pin to green wire of the power supply. We have two outputs. First output, uh, we named it first output and second output. So the first output has uh, um, these letters, which will be used later. Um, so now 
we do the wiring we connect 12 volt to the middle pin of the four channel uh, four uh, channel of the first relay module we connect 12 volt to middle pin and then uh, we connect the 5 volt to the middle pin of the uh, third relay module third relay on the first module and then we connect the 3 volt to the relay channel 2 of the first module and we connect all these uh, the open pin of each channel uh, to each other so open pin of this channel which is top pin and open uh, pin of this channel and open pin of this channel and open pin of this channel so we connect them all together and then we connect this comes here to the connects the third relay module on the four channel on the open pin now, uh, as well, the first relay or the first channel, the middle pin connects to the uh, one of our uh, voltage regulator um, which, uh, to the output of the step up and step down uh, converter. Connect the output to relay one, channel one on first relay module to the middle pin. And same for the second relay module, we have to connect the same wiring 12 volt 5 volt and 3 volt and same the output of this converter to this relay module to second relay module so what i did i just connected the middle pin to the middle pin of the middle pin of the relay module third of the third channel of first relay module to the third channel of the second relay module so connect 5 volt to 5 volt and uh, So I connect uh, 3 volt to 3 volt and 12 volt to 12 volt. So as you see, 12 volt is connected to the middle pin of fourth channel. Uh, the 5 volt connected to the middle pin of third channel, and same to the second uh, th 3 volt to the second channel. So the same wiring we do for a second uh, relay module. And now, in the, as you said, as you did for the first relay module the same we repeat for the second relay module we connect the open pin of all relays with each other and then this will be connected to the close uh, the open pin of the third channel on the third relay module so now for the second output uh, we connect the middle pin of the third channel of the third relay module to the um, second output of the banana connector to the banana connector which is the we named it positive uh, is the output so this is the second relay module output which is positive output we connected to the middle pin and uh, the relay the first channel on second relay module connects to converter B here which is the step uh, second uh, step up a step down converter as we connected the middle pin of this uh, relay module to output of here we connect the middle pin of this relay module to the output of this uh, converter and now for the first output we connect the uh, middle pin of this ch four channel on third module to a banana connector of first power output or first power supply and now connect the open pin of four channel four channel to first channel uh, middle pin of relay module number three uh, as this will be connected to as this will be connected to the usb one which is here so this we will be this will be used uh, if the power supply is switched to the power supply output number one is switched to five volt so this will be uh, which is here will be connected to five volt now we have two um, multimeter uh, these multimeter are they take five volt to, they operate with 5 volt so they need 5 volt input to turn on and operate and in the same time they have one 
wire is used for measuring, just one wire. And to measure the current, we need to connect the ground uh, or negative connection uh, of this multimeter to negative connection of power supply. Then from the power supply connects to the banana connector. So the banana connector connects to the, these, this wire. For the second output, we connect the negative connection to the power supply. We connect the minus P2 connection to this black uh, minus P2 and connect the positive 5 and negative uh, connection. Same, neg uh, and, uh, and this P2 uh, uh, connects to this uh, P2 banana connector. So this will measure the uh, outer power. Same, uh, negative P2, which is yellow, or connects to certain uh, positive P1, connects to positive P1, yellow here. So it's measured the uh, output power of the power supply, uh, first power supply. And for the current measurement, we connect the negative P1 to negative P1 black uh, banana connector, and we connect the negative connection of this power supply I mean this uh, multimeter to the power supply. And same, this power supply uh, input that freight with 5 volt, we connect to 5 volt. So um, how, the, how these multimeter works, I will uh, show in a diagram how this will work. So uh, this is our multimeter um, diagram. Uh, the way it does work is we have uh, two the positive and negative connection here. So this connects to 5 volt, it says uh, from 4 volt to 30 volt. This is the power for this multimeter. You can connect it to 5 volt. And it uses only one wire to measure the wire, and you can connect that to load or the banana connector uh, output. So if the power supply is set to 5 volt, it will read 5 volt. If it's 12 volt, 12 volt. Whatever voltage is here, it will read uh, on the multimeter. For the current, what we do, we disconnect the uh, negative output and connect it to this uh, black wire, and then the black wire goes to the load, uh, and the other side goes to the power supply, uh, or to from the power supply to put on a connector. So this way, it measures the current. So this is the diagram of the multimeter. You can wire up the multimeter, I mean, uh, like this which is used for current and volt measurement. So as you said, um, here we connect the, uh, for these um, banana connectors and the, these uh, three switch, we have three LED. So for that, uh, we connect the a green LED for P1 banana connector connects to relay module number three, which is this relay module on the four channel. As you said, these, uh, this relay module has four LEDs here, which is used for four channels on this relay module. If the LEDs are on, relay are on. Um, so what we do, we just connect the relay four channel and third channel LED from here and connect it to an LED over here. So, this uh, uh, LED, which is the top LED, is a power hold LED for the first power supply, and this is power hold LED, power hold LED for the second power supply uh, output. So, and this is uh, LED is used to power on and off the uh, power supply. If the power supply is on, this will be on. If the power supply is on, this will be off. And in the same time, if the power output is active for the first power supply. This LED will be on if the power supply is off. The output is on hold. This will be uh, off. So if you have you have power, this is on. If you don't have power, this is off. Same for the second uh, power supply. So connect the uh, a resistor of 400, 300 ohm, and then connect this to the 5 volt, uh, and then other way connect it to the negative connection of the power supply. So as you said here again. We replace this LED with the four channel LED here, uh, and and same for the other uh, LED. So now <clears throat> let's come to the wiring of the uh, Arduino. We connect the D12 uh, wire to 
second channel of relay module number three. So this uh, is second channel. Uh, we, here we have a wire of second channel. We connect this D12 to second channel. So second channel connects to P, P, pin 12 of Arduino. And uh, channel one connects to uh, pin 10 of Arduino. And now A2 to the um, tactile zero or SW0, and then it connects to 4.7K, and then it connects to, connects to negative connection of the power supply. And A1 connects to SW1, and A2 connects to A0, sorry, A0 connects to SW1, and A1 connects to SW2 uh, tactile button. So these uh, buttons are used to switch uh, powers, and this is used to turn on and off the power supply and hold the powers, power for the both power supply. Now, for the first relay module, we draw a wire from four, pin number four to channel four of the relay module. Same pin five goes to channel three, uh, pin six goes to channel two, Pin 7 goes to channel 1. Pin 8 goes to channel 1. Pin 9 goes to channel 2 of relay, module number 2. And then pin 10 goes to channel 3. And pin 11 goes to channel 4. Connect D2 or pin 2 to channel 4 of relay module number 3. And pin 3 to channel 3 of relay module number 3. These two wires are used to uh, turn on and off the uh, output for the first power supply and second power supply. And re uh, channel 2, which is activated by pin 12, uh, is this one. So if the pin 12 is high, uh, these two will be connected and power supply will be on. And for the converter, uh, we connected this middle pin here and we connect the converter to ground as well uh, or negative connection connect to um, relay module number two first channel yeah this is the first channel sorry uh, relay one yeah let's connect to relay one here and now for both converter uh, the input or 12 volt is taken uh, from 12 volt comes to the input of this converter and same comes to the input of this converter so they are uh, connected to 12 volt and the output comes here for this converter to here and this converter goes into here which is the middle pin of re channel 1 of second relay module now, for these uh, uh, converters, step down and step up converter, we we have two um, potentiometer here. We take them out and replace them with a bigger potentiometer, which will be connected to our power supply cover. So just uh, unsolder these, remove them, and put these two undo wiring. So one of them is used to step uh, down and step up the voltage, and another is, I think, is used for constant current or constant voltage. We will check that later. Do wiring here. Uh, remove these potentiometer do wiring three wires to first potentiometer from the top uh, variable resistor or potentiometer. Same for the second potentiometer do the wiring. So same for the other step down and step up converter to the wiring this is our power supply so you need to take uh, this out uh, from a computer a desktop computer or you can buy it online so this uh, power supply has a uh, three uh, mostly has three output which is 12 volt uh, minus 12 volt 3 volt and 5 volt so we use these voltages uh, for our power supply and uh, so here uh, I will open this uh, power supply and take out the circuit board uh, but you have to be careful with these stuff because these are the 
high voltage uh, power supplies and uh, these connects to mains and 220 volt so it can be uh, very dangerous you need to be qualified or someone that is good uh, with electronics you need to have pp equipment protective equipment or turn off the main power supply and um, you have to be very careful so i cannot show all construction of this power supply so what i did i took out the power supply and connected all the uh, components that shown on the diagram uh, i connected them to this uh, uh, i connected it together and i put them on these uh, uh, wooden board and uh, then made a box from it so you can see how i did it but i cannot show you all the step by step how, uh, construction because it will take too long to record that so let's see the next step these are the components i place them here so let's see this uh, section is uh, the power supply and uh, this is power supply um, these are the two uh, uh, number one and number two the relay module number one and number two i place them on top of each other like this so to save some space and i place them here like this and uh, so these are the relay module these are the four channel relay module uh, there are two LED, four leds here one two three four each relay which is on and off um, these leds will be on and off um, so this is the way this led uh, relay module works so I place them here on top of each other and uh, there's uh, Arduino module, Arduino board, and one of the relay modules here. And these are the two uh, step down and a step up converter. Uh, on the front of the power supply, this is the front of the power supply. Okay, a place to banana connectors here, two banana connectors here, uh, two potentiometer here, two potentiometer here, and these are three buttons. Just made hole here and snap them in. Uh, there are lots of screws in on the bottom. I use them to hold the circuit boards. And this is the back of the power supply. This is a uh, high power input. 220 volt input so this board will come here and uh, the rest other boards will come on the side and here and this is the fun so the fun will go here okay so this is it uh, this is the way we uh, construct this um, power supply you just need to follow the diagram follow the diagram connect the wires I know it's total mess but I will tidy them up later but you have to connect all do all the wiring based on the circuit diagram shown so do the wiring put them on a box and uh, you will have a smart power supply for the wall for the boards I use these uh, uh, spacers these uh, plastic uh, but it has two screws here, two holes here, and one hole here. So what I do, I place them like uh, on one side, put one uh, screw here, and another screw from the top. So I do for all sides. So this way I connect all sheet, uh, sheets together. So for the coding, um, I use uh, two set of coding and I combine them to get the final code. One is um, a single button uh, code that performs three uh, options. Um, this is the code. Uh, so this code uh, perform three functions. As uh, our power supply, we have one button that performs three function. So, uh, that um, uh, I use a, a library called one button dot h. So with that one button dot h, 
I can have um, one button that perform three function like if I click it once it will perform one uh, function if I click it twice uh, within a quick delay uh, it will uh, perform another option if I press it for a long time it will perform another option so here the score is for that uh, one button and, uh, three function uh, you need to install this library uh, search for one button library go to uh, tools uh, uh, sorry sketch include library manage library and search for one button one button this is the one button library and install this uh, after you installed it uh, then include this library uh, you can find examples on the example menu on the here are some example blank machine and dropped one button simple one button and two buttons so after including that you need to specify uh, which button uh, which uh, pen will be your button so I, uh, I put pen a1 as my button and then uh, uh, I specify three pens as output so pen 2 as uh, and pin 3 and pin 12 are output so I uh, set them as high because I use a relay module relay module uh, if I want the relay module to be off I need to set the digital right pin mode high so they will be off if the they are um, low so they will be on uh, these are the functions that call for the uh, double click single click and long press or long click uh, uh, functions uh, so on the loop we have only one function which is button dot tick on each 10 millisecond uh, it will look for the button if it press or not so here are three function one is white double click another was uh, another one is single click and another one is long click so on the uh, double click uh, we set uh, digital right uh, pen 2 as uh, uh, low or high uh, when each time is pressed uh, it, um, on each double click its its status will be reversed and uh, it will be high and low on each double click same here and uh, for the pin 3 uh, um, the status will be reversed on each time we press the uh, do the single click and same for long click uh, the pin 2 will be uh, high and low each time we uh, click uh, as a long press so this this is the code for one button tree function we use this uh, uh, for, to turn on the power supply turn off the power supply and release and hold the power so I put this here and uh, to show them to show how I can use this for LEDs so based on the LEDs you can see how the power supply works so this is not the final code this is just an example of one button dot H code that how this uh, single button tree function works so let's see this practically so I wired up the sketch and connected all LEDs um, LED LEDs to their pins I go press a single time the orange one turn on another single time it turns off and double click it will turn on the other green LED and uh, double click again I will turn off the LED so long press it will turn off the right again wrong press turn off the light so single click again single click uh, double click again double click and long press long press so single click double click all of them on single click double click long press for about three seconds we'll turn turn off the LEDs so we use this this concept to turn off our power supply to turn on our power supply by long click
and again turn off the power supply by long click and we use other functions uh, for other purposes so this is the uh, diagram and the way we will turn off the power supply and turn on the power supply so that was the code for um, uh, having three functions uh, with one button so we have uh, another two buttons in our power supply those two buttons job is to switch the powers uh, between 3 5 12 volt and variable power supply so for that we use another code called debon's uh, code so i actually uh, lost the source of this code but uh, somehow i was able to edit it so this code um, uh, the job of this code is to switch between power supply so here we set uh, uh, two uh, buttons uh, or two buttons uh, one as a switch one as a tactile pin uh, so we assign uh, a1 to one switch and a0 pin to another switch and then uh, we have uh, four pins <coughs> well, as uh, four leds or four um, options uh, for switching uh, between four uh, output power uh, as a variable power supply and uh, three volt power supply uh, output uh, five volt output and 12 volt output so for another uh, output we have same variable power supply connected to pin eight 3 volt power supply connect to pin 9, 5 volt 10, pin 10, and 12 volt uh, pin 11. So and these are connected to these pins. So uh, on setup, we uh, specify pin mode, pin mode of the uh, switch pin as input. Uh, these are the pin mode for the output power supply for the power supply number one. And their digital mode is set to high for the Realize I will show you how these works with the LEDs. So for LEDs, I need to uh, Set them as low for the relay module. I have uh, they work with them um, uh, If they are high the relay module is off if they are low the relay module is on so somehow they work opposite um, Between uh, LEDs and relay module so same the other uh, um, button is uh, I named the tactile as, as, a, as a input and uh, four other uh, output uh, powers as variable power supply I put an L at the end of it so is the left or the second power supply so these are I set them as uh, output and their digital write mode is as uh, high so on the loop uh, we have uh, this if statement code so if the switch pin is high then uh, it will uh, increase the amount of the times is pressed so if it's pressed one uh, the digital uh, right uh, the variable power supply pin will be low so one of the relay will be on the rest of relay will be off so if i press it twice and it's, if it's pressed for two the second time the it will turn off the variable power supply the this pin uh, and uh, there will be one second delay and it will turn on another uh, relay that uh, connects three volt power supply uh, so this one uh, second delay is uh, we need this here because uh, relay module needs some time to turn off and another relay uh, to turn on if there is no delay so both relay will be on in same time and uh, there will be conflation of the power so the power supply will turn off completely so you have to put one second delay same if it's pressed for third time <coughs> these two will be high the, this will be low and this relay will be on five volt will be connected and if it's pressed for fourth time uh, uh, these will be high this will be low 12 volt will be low and this will be this relay will be on after the second delay and if it's pressed for fifth time all relay will be high it means all relays are off on the second power supply and the press uh, condition says to zero now here we have uh, the other side power supply power supply number one uh, if tactile is high the amount of the push button increases if the push uh, if it's pushed for one or press for one time same as uh, explained above 
one of the relay will be on the rest will be off and again same as uh, above so this is the method we use to switch the power between the relays and uh, set the output to a specific voltage it can be variable power supply a variable power supply that change the voltage from uses potentiometer that use voltage from 1 volt to 12 volt and it can be fixed uh, 3 volt and it can be fixed 5 volt and it can be fixed 12 volt so we have these four options uh, so we use the, this uh, method to switch between power supply so now what we do we combine this code with the single button code and we make our main code so this was the single button code and uh, this was the switching power code so this is our final code so I combine them like this attach library attach one button dot h library as attached pin specify pin two uh, for the one button as a um, input pin or connects this connects this pin connects to uh, button one or sw0 on the diagram and tactile a1 the uh, switch pin connects to a1 pin a1 which is a uh, switch number sw1 and uh, tactile pin connects to pin zero a0 uh, which is pin uh, which is w2 switch on the diagram so same so that code uh, is uh, combined with the both codes are combined and I made the final code here so we upload this code to Arduino and uh, we constructed the power supply now we upload the code and then we will test the power supply for demonstration uh, I will upload the switching code and show uh, the LED uh, with LEDs how the switching works so it will be clear to you I have uploaded the code now um, these four LEDs connected to this button and these four LED will be turned on will be operated by this uh, button and these uh, four LEDs will be operated by this button I don't have a button here uh, I don't have additional buttons so what I do I do a manual like a manual uh, short contact so it will work as a LED because I don't have an LED so if I press uh, this button this button is connected to D2 so first uh, press turn on the first LED second LED third LED and fourth and the fifth press will turn off the LEDs so we use this um, method to switch our power supply power from for example 3 volt 5 volt 12 volt or negative 12 volt so and on the other hand that is our one uh, output so in another output like we want to have a two output for the, our power supply so if I connect the D3 pin to con uh, on contact button as shown in diagram um, I don't have another LED so I apologize for that I just connect the um, short this contact here so on second bunch of LED turn on and uh, second LED third LED fourth and turn off all LEDs so this will be our additional power supply we can have for example 3 volt here and I want to have 5 volt here so that's the method we will be using so let's combine uh, so now if I want to turn off this power supply I should have another button to press turn on the power supply and turn off the power supply and I will have these buttons to switch the power I want to have another button so for example I have an application if I push, push this the voltage will change so if I, my application works on 3 volt and if I press this the voltage change so the application which works with the 3 volt it will burn out so what we do we need to have another button to disconnect the power from the application and then we come here and change the power so let's uh, combine all these codes and come to the final sketch and the final code 
So now after um, uploading all codes um, to Arduino, uh, first we combined both codes and now uploaded it. And now after construction of the power supply and uploading code, we come to test uh, and examine the power supply. So now we are going to see how this power supply actually work in a real world. Power supply has two output. The same coming from computer power supply and has two potentiometer and has one switch that uh, switches the uh, powers, I mean the output power here. And same uh, we have another power supply which is output here. Uh, we have a potentiometer, it has its own button to change the power and we have two USB ports here. One of them, this one on the right hand connected to um, 5 volt power supply when the, when the, we switch this power supply to 5 volt you can have output 5 volt here and at the same time here and you can measure the current but this uh, USB output is always connected to 5 volt uh, so uh, let's uh, test this um, so what I do um, I, I I will connect uh, uh, these props here positive to positive negative to negative um, we have no voltage so and same in another power supply positive to positive negative to negative we have no power um, power output so when you turn on your power supply you will have no output so whatever is connected to your power supply uh, um, will not give them power so to <coughs> Uh, change the voltage from zero first we press this uh, button uh, and it changes to 12 volt I mean the, um, first it changes to vari variable power supply with this uh, uh, with this uh, potentiometer we can change it from 1 volt to 3, 4, 5, 6 till 12 volt so whatever voltage you need you can have it you can change it and this, um, I took two uh, potentiometer from the uh, uh, step down and a step up, uh, step down converter, step up and a step down converter, and place them here. I think one is for changing uh, voltage and one is for adjusting uh, constant current. Uh, anyway, we'll work on it. So right now, this uh, multimeter is set to 8 volt, as you can see. And uh, but we have no output here. The reason is we need to activate this. To activate this, we have one LED here. This LED, if this is turned on, it means power uh, output is on. So for that, we need to uh, double click or press this button twice to, acti uh, to activate the output. This is the safety feature because. <coughs> When you uh, changing the voltage, you might have an application 3 volt or 5 volt, and accidentally, if you change it to 12 volt, uh, so it might burn. So the best um, the best thing is to um, have this safety feature, so it will pre prevent your um, application from damaging. So I press this twice. So this uh, LED turn on, uh, and uh, we have our. Um, uh, 8 uh, volt. So I will change this. Now I am in 5.6. We have about 5.87, and uh, we have 4.7 here and uh, 4.8 here. So they are multimeters, little bit up and down. They show, but um, exactly their values are close. So now I will change this to another. Uh, uh, output by pressing this to come out from uh, potentiometer, potentiometer variable power supply to a, a fixed voltage which is 3.3 .3 or 3 volt so if I press this again it will change but I don't want to press it I want to turn off this uh, output then I press it so press this button twice it t output turns off then now you can change it to another voltage is 3.3 .3 volt. So we have 3.3 .3 volt. We don't have voltage output here. So what I do, I press this uh, yellow button twice, and I get output voltage here. So that's the safety feature. Um, so I turn it off, change it again. Uh, it goes to 5 volt. Uh, press twice, 5 volt. And if I don't uh, turn this output off, I just change it. So I change to 12 volt. 
And if I press it again, uh, it changes to zero volt. It means this power supply is now off. Okay, so you can uh, turn off the output as well. Output is off. So we're coming to another power output, which is output number two. So this output has no voltage set. So what we do, we press this button. It changes to variable power supply first. We change it again. It changes to three volt, but we have no voltage here. So what we do, we need to press the yellow button only once. So if you press it twice, this power supply will be activated. If you twice press it once, this power supply will be activated. So if I press it once again, this power supply will turn off. So this is one option, one button doing three uh, job. If I press it long, power supply turn off. If I press it for uh, hold it for a long time, two to three seconds, power supply will turn on. If I press it twice, this power supply will turn on. If I press it once, this power supply will turn on. And if I do again, it will turn off. So we have no voltage here. So for that, I click once, this LED is on. So we have output voltage here. So that's the safety feature. I don't turn that off and change it to 5 volt. You notice that when voltage changes, we have one second delay. And that's because the inside relay switch needs some time to turn off. Um, one relay uh, needs to turn off and uh, other relay will uh, turn on. Um, so if both ports, uh, both relays turn, uh, if one relay is on and there is no delay uh, between another um, two relays, so what happens, uh, we will have two voltages, 5 and 12, and our power supply will stop working. In some cases, power supply might be get damaged. So you need to put that one uh, minute, one second code in uh, your power supply. Thank you very much for watching this video and hope you liked it. Please like, share and subscribe uh, and uh, I hope to make more videos like this and uh, if it wasn't a good video, please, uh, please leave your comment and tell me what should I do to improve my video and, or this project. So have a good time and hope to see you again.